Hello, we would like to show you a demonstration of using Glider with Gyros SDK. Let's start off with Smart Auto Completion. Glider knows Gyros API and keeps track of object references and inheritance. For instance, let's look at the soccer ball table from the jumping ball example. If we just wanted to see what's inside the soccer ball object, we can just type soccer ball dot and a list of options will appear. Since the ball is a bitmap, which is also a sprite, which is also an event dispatcher, you will see methods from all these classes in the ball autocomplete query. This way you won't have to constantly go from class to class in the API documentation. We have also introduced many convenient features to make autocomplete even more helpful for you. Suppose you already know what you're looking for, for example, soccerball.removeEventListener. You can just type SBREL or SBREMOVEEL or SBRELIST or any other combination. You can also use capital letters to narrow the search down to the first letter of each camel case word, like SBAEL would return soccerball.addEventListener. This can help you avoid typos if you already know the API by heart. However, even if you do make a spelling error, the autocomplete can still help you by giving you the closest match found. Also note that the autocomplete will replace periods with colons, if necessary, thus preventing this common bug from occurring. Let's add a live code variable to the xSpeed and ySpeed table values. You can do this by right clicking and going to add live code variable. The system should be able to auto guess the type of variable where you can choose from numbers, strings, booleans and colors. You can also add functions with live code variables as parameters. Let's add soccer ball .set visible. Now let's demonstrate live coding and debugging on a real device. First, launch the Gitteros Player app on your device. Go to Tools, Options, or Preferences on Mac, and Glider Options, and set the IP of your device. Next, launch the application under Debug Mode, and after a short while, you should see the app running on your device. Now let's play around with the live code variables we set earlier. If the window isn't already visible, go to Window, Live Coding. You can use the scroll wheel to interactively set number values. As you can see, setting the X speed, Y speed, and set visible values will instantly be reflected on the device while the app is running. Restarting is not necessary. Also set and remove breakpoints while the program is running. Let's add a breakpoint in each of the if blocks in the enter frame function. The program should then stop every time the ball touches a wall. And this is indeed what happens. At every breakpoint you can inspect variables, see what's on the call stack, and inspect the program line by line. It is very useful to put breakpoints inside event handler code as these may be very difficult to debug with print statements alone. Take the collision detection sample project for instance. A print statement occurs every time two physics bodies collide and if we run the app and view the results, you will be overwhelmed with print statements and it is difficult to see what is going on. Instead, let's just place a breakpoint in the onBeginContact function. Now each time this event is called, the program will pause, allowing you to examine what's going on in the program event by event, breakpoint by breakpoint. Thanks for watching.